What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Parlay Buddy Show. We are back with your Week 11 free premium picks. I'm your host, Malachi David. Now, before we get into this week's episode, I just want to take a minute to kind of introduce those of you who may not be familiar with Parlay Buddy to exactly what it is we can offer you. In addition to this weekly video showing you what our over-under picks of the week are, we also have our website, ParlayBuddy.com. You can go over to the website and take a look at various articles. We have a profitability calculator. We have daily fantasy sports tools powered by statshark.com. And we also have the videos that you can find here. In addition to that, we also offer various social media platforms for your viewing pleasure. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, YouTube, and TikTok. So if you have any of those and you want more of our great content, feel free to head over to those and give us a follow. Now, let's get into these Week 11 picks. All right, let's take a look at our first game of the week. We're going to look at the Falcons versus Bears. The point total for this game has been set at 50, and on that line, we are taking the under. You may be thinking to yourself, hey, the Bears have really come alive the last few weeks, and they have scored a decent amount of points, mainly thanks to Justin Fields and his running ability. However, if you look at their total season, they are only averaging 21.7 points per game, and they have scored 23 or less points in six of their 10 games this season. They also rank last in total passing offense, and the 50 points is the highest total they have had set for them this season. So it is going to be a tough mark for them to set. The Falcons are probably going to look to shut Justin Fields down on the ground, which means he's going to have to throw, and that has not bode well for them this season. The Falcons, on the other hand, they have hit the under 5 out of 10 times this season and have gone under 4 of the last 6 games, which is another reason we have the under this week. They're averaging 23.2 points per game and have scored under 23 in 5 of their last 7 games. So, that is why we are taking the under. Are you going to go with us on that one? Our second game we're going to look at this week is the Bills versus the Browns. The line is set at 43 points on this game, and on that we are taking the over. And that was even before the game got moved to Detroit this week. In case you haven't heard, that game, due to six feet of snow projected to fall in the Buffalo area, has been moved to Detroit. So instead of snowy outdoor conditions, you now have a Josh Allen high-octane offense being brought indoors to play against a not that great Cleveland Browns defense. The Bills have scored over 23 points per game in seven of their nine games. 43 points is the lowest line they have been set at this season, and they do average 27.8 points per game. Their offense is third in the league in passing, and with Josh Allen still possibly trying to recover that elbow, didn't seem to slow him down last week. I doubt that they're going to have him throw much less. That offense is basically set up to succeed, and the indoor conditions are only going to help that. On the other side, the Cleveland Browns, they only average 24.1 points per game. Their defense does allow 26.4 points per game, which will not go well for them against the Bills. Uh, they do rank fifth in the league in rushing offense, and they have hit the over in six of their nine games. Um, and in five of their nine games, they have scored over 26 points. So we have two really good offenses, but one offense alone might carry this entire line, and that is why we are taking the over on this game. And last but certainly not least, we look at the Eagles versus the Colts. The line for this game has been set at 45.5, and, and on that line we are taking the under. A lot of the factors that go into that decision are based on the Colts' offense, they average 15.7 points per game, which is 30th in the league. They have hit the under in 8 of 10 games so far this season. They've scored 20 or less points in 8 of 10 games this season. Their rushing offense is ranked 28th in the league. They're under an interim head coach. They just don't have a lot going for them. Their offense is going to struggle to get going against a really good Philadelphia defense, who only gives up 18.6 points per game. So when it's all said and done, they, it doesn't look like the Colts will really do much. And on the opposite side, as well as the Eagles could play, the Colts defense actually is ranked 11th in terms of points per game given up. So the Eagles will have to have a decent offensive day if they would want to cover the over. 
and we just don't see that happening. So on this line, we do take the under. And that concludes our three free premium picks of the week. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want more, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Be sure to let us know how we did on your picks. If you use our picks, let us know if you want a little extra money. Holiday seasons are coming up. Who doesn't want a little extra money in their pocket? If you want more great content from us, be sure to check us out on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Reddit. You can also head over to our website again, check out the profitability calculator. You can check out the daily fantasy sports tools powered by StatShark. In addition to that, we also offer various sports articles, and now we do also offer NBA premium picks. We hope you'll join us next week for week 12 picks. Until then, I'm your host, Malachi David. Have a good one.